Today we are going to do a few demos on first come first serve process scheduling. In order to do process scheduling, we need to define a set of processes and their respected burst times. In this first example, we will have process 1 with a burst time of 24 milliseconds, process 2 with a burst time of 3 milliseconds, and then finally process 3 with a burst time of 3 milliseconds. Then this example, the processes will come in right after the other, In the first come first serve algorithm, the processes are executed one after the other. So we'll start with process one, and we'll demonstrate the process scheduling using what's called a NAT chart. So we start at time zero. This is process one. Process one has a burst time of 24. And then now, we're going to go ahead and schedule process 2. So process 2 is scheduled right after process 1. Process 2 has a burst time of 3, putting us at time 27, because process 2 took 3 milliseconds. And then finally, we will go ahead and schedule process 3, the last process. Process 3 also has a burst time of 3, putting us at time 30. So at this point, what we want to do is calculate what's called the average wait time. The average wait time in first come, first serve can be calculated by taking the numbers at the bottom so we have 0 plus 24 plus 27 and then you divide by the number, by the amount of numbers that you have, which is in this case 3, and you get 17 milliseconds, average wait time. And so the reason why we didn't add 30 is because we don't have any other processes after process 3 that are waiting to be executed, hence the name average waiting time. 